Hey Cameron here, looking at more impractical ways to charge your electric car. So, what we're going to take a look at, uh, this car is special in that it will run both off of gas and also off of electricity. This is the BMW i3 with the range extender. What I'm going to do is actually try to charge this car using gravity alone, but then use the gasoline tank engine to push the car back up the hill and then roll it down again. And by this way, charge the battery. Now, we'll talk about ways that that may be useful in certain situations. Although, in general, I really just want to see how much battery I can regen by rolling it down a big hill. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so here I am at the top of a very steep hill that goes down for probably about a mile or so. And I'm starting out with a percentage of 24%. Let me see if I can get to a view that actually shows something interesting. And so 24%, uh, we're gonna reset our trip meter to zero and go down the hill and use regenerative braking and see how much we can get back. So 24%. So once I hit the bottom of this hill, um, I'm going to turn on the range extender. So there's a little notch in the battery and it automatically turns down if the battery gets extremely low. But uh, we're, we're starting at our 24%, we're already at 24.5. And what I will do is turn on that range extender to get the gas flowing and uh, recharging the battery. Now, if BMW just gave us the controls, we could just turn that range extender on and uh, charge the battery fully, but they don't let you do that. Um, probably because it would it would take a while for one, but also it would probably, I don't know if it would overwork the motor, but that's just not the intended use for it. It's supposed to range extend, right? So um, that's not something that's possible with the software that's on on the, the BMW i3 but we're going to see if we can hack it I get to the bottom of actually where I'm regenerating, I'm going to pop the range extender on using a hotkey I've programmed, and that way we'll dial the set point for the range extender. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now because we're coming out of it. So I locked in the range extender at 28% set point. Now we just have to go back to the top of the hill, go down again, and see what happens. Okay, so we're back at the top of the hill, and you can see we used a little bit of percentage to get back up here, but the gas that it's recharging the battery is offsetting things. So, heading back down, uh, we're starting out with 26% instead of the 24%. So we should be able to get to 30, at least 30%. Maybe even more because the range extender is actually still running. You can hear it running to, to catch us up. Now it may turn off as we get uh, over its set point. Last time when we got to this point, we locked in at 28%, and 
and this time we locked in at 32%. So we're <laughs> we're on our way. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the only time that this is actually really practical to be doing is in the event that you arrive in a new location and you're stopping in a hotel and they ha they don't have any outlets for you to plug in at, but you don't want to, you know, there's a, you shouldn't, the car will actually warn you not to park and leave the car alone at a super low battery. So if you've got a really low battery and you absolutely have nowhere to charge, you're in a new location, you can't find an accessible outlet, rather than uh, leave your car out in the cold and wake up in the morning and go out and find your car completely dead because the battery's completely dead, um, you could actually find a hill and use this trick. So let's get back to the top of the hill and see how much we can get on this next round. So here we are at the top of the hill, again, starting out at about uh, about 30%, it's 20, it says 29.5%, but it's really close to 30. So at the end of this pass, we'll have a pretty good idea where we sit. us in at 35.5% that time. So as you can see, in about 11 miles of going up and down a hill, I've been able to recharge the battery about, uh, let's see, 24, so about 12% uh, 12, 12 or so. So that's about a percent a mile. So you probably wouldn't, obviously wouldn't want to refill your entire battery pack this way. It just would not be be worth the time. But if you wanted to, you know, recharge your car on the go because you didn't want the battery at a super low state, entirely possible to do with that range extender. You're always gonna, pretty much always gonna be able to find a gas station. Look at the corner, case in point. But sometimes it might not be practical to find an outlet, maybe, but if you're in that situation, there are options, at least with this range extender version car.